Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video doing the ECM WF Extended 30 Day Forecast for the UK and for the rest of Europe too for today's second video and I shall get on that for you in a moment to say that first video of day was our 6am UK weather forecast and can be live streaming our 10th to 14th day at 5 o'clock so it's my birthday today, happy birthday gal. Um, so I shall see you a little bit later on for my birthday live stream. And uh, we'll do a 10 to 14 day in that as well. So <laughs> that's coming up a little bit later on for uh, anyone who's around the channel there. Uh, please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, let's start off with week one. Mean cell pressure anomaly taking us through the week we're currently in. The 16th, 23rd of October. Looks very unsettled. This week, with lots of low pressure in the Atlantic and into much of uh, Western and also Central Europe as well. I have got some high pressure up towards Scandinavia, so I've tried to bring wind in from the east into the far north of Europe, but basically it's still got a low pressure driving in from off the Atlantic, but will be dominated as seen in most places. The 500 millibar heights look like this below average heights, low pressure dominating through the Atlantic and into Europe, uh, but some sort of high pressure blocking things out over towards Scandinavia. Right, so here's a temperature anomaly then in the uh, next week, or this week, I should say. So below average for much of northern um, Europe, so like through the uh, low countries, Germany, Poland, and uh, on into the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, so Lithuania, northwards to, to Scandinavia, so Denmark, Sweden, Norway, uh, and also in the North East Europe, so, so to Finland and Northwest of Russia, cooler than average through there. I guess there will be early season snowfalls across portions of Scandi too. Uh, Core of cold is in the far north of Scandinavia, where we're going down to 6 to 10 degrees below average. Good great to me, that can be very cold. Uh, now, out west, it's milder, so through Ireland, the UK, France, into parts of Spain, we have uh, above average temperatures there, both central parts of Spain, Portugal, a little bit cooler. And then into the bed, looking quite warm through uh, most parts of the bed train from the Balearic Islands, right way over to Corsica, Sardinia, and into Italy as well. Now here we've got temperature anomalies of around 3 to 6 degrees above normal. And into the eastern map, where we've got a large part portion of the Greek islands with above average temperatures, but heading eastwards to uh, Turkey, there we do see cooler than average temperatures, and some of those extending into parts of the Middle East as well. As far as rainfall concerned, uh, very wet scene across much of Western Europe. So, uh, again, we've got Spain, Portugal and France up into the UK and Ireland, then into the Low Countries, Germany, and southwards into northern parts of Italy. A very substantial above average rainfall coming through in those areas. As we go north, we find that Scandinavia and uh, the northeast of Europe looking drier than normal under that area of high pressure. The wet weather then breaks through underneath it. So we've like got Poland and Ukraine standing out with above average rainfall. But we come down into the southeastern portion of uh, Europe and that's like um, the Asiatic to the uh, Balkans and then Otal Black Sea, um, including Romania. We have a dry than average condition through there. The central bowl of the Med looks quite wet, so say Spain and Portugal standing up being very wet. Eastern portions of the Med, particularly some of those Greek islands, could be a little bit on the drier side. Week 2 will be the 23rd to the 30th of October. Still looking very unsettled across much of West Europe. Deep low pressure from the Atlantic in towards Ireland, the UK, France, Low Countries, Germany. High pressure is up in the far north and northeast Europe up here, but most areas actually looking like they're dominated by low pressure. Uh, next week, 500 millibar heights, again, showing the below average heights of low pressure in off the Atlantic into particularly Western Europe. We have got high pressure here in the north and the northeastern uh, portions of Europe, though. Attention, probably goes by on average in most areas, of over far north of Scandinavia, 
uh, and through to Finland and northwest of Russia with a cool of an average temperature at the moment. And some central parts of Spain also coming out a little bit cooler. Other than that, most areas are above average and particularly warm in the eastern portion of Europe, actually. Uh, again, around the Balkans and go northwards and eastwards to the Black Sea and to the south of uh, Ukraine. Uh, there we have temperature at the of 3 to 6 degrees above average, but widely across uh, many western parts of Europe with 1 to 3 degrees above um, north, so, so quite a mild scene in most areas next week. But continue to look very unsettled, so uh, once more we've got Ireland and the UK, France, Spain, Portugal, the Low Countries and Germany with the core of the wet weather, uh, although some eastern parts of Europe, so Poland, Ukraine, uh, again up towards Belarus and southwest of Russia, uh, slightly uh, wetter than average through there. North of that, we find that southern parts of Sweden and Norway are rather wet, are rather on the wet side, but northern uh, parts of Scandinavia and again into the northwest of Russia, there we see a dry and average conditions. As far as Mediterranean is concerned, Italy westwards, all the way back to Spain, Portugal, with above average rainfall. Still looks like it could be a little bit on the drier side, though, as we go down towards um, Greece, and possibly extending some of that into Turkey as well. Week 3 will be the 30th of October, 6th of November. So, uh, we've still got some high pressure in the far north and north of Europe then. Otherwise, lower pressure tends to be more, perhaps, though, towards the eastern side of Europe. The signal is weakening, as it often does in week three. Um, above average heights, so higher pressure actually building in towards Scandinavia and northern Europe, perhaps more strongly. That's going to try and get the wind into the east there, probably. I've got some higher pressure down towards Spain and Portugal as well. Temperature anomalies show the warmest uh, temperature anomalies are over on the eastern side of Europe here. Again, anywhere from like um, Poland east was looking around 1 to 3 degrees above average. But the north and the west of Europe, the temperature anomalies show no signal reverting back close to average. So there might be a bit of a cool down that's going on there actually, parts of northern and western Europe. As we look towards the opening days of November, a weakening signal, it must be said. Precipitation wise, uh, we see that northern parts of Scandinavia, the northwest of Russia, also including Finland, are drier than normal. Also, looks drier than average down towards Spain, some parts of Spain, Portugal, North Africa. Um, maybe wetter over on the eastern side of uh, Europe there. Um, and also, I've wetted me Atlantic too, so I reckon it could still be quite unsettled, really. Uh, this week, with quite a bit of low pressure still coming in to the western part of Europe, but higher pressure uh, lurking up there. Okay, week four will be the 6th to the 13th of November. Signals getting ever weaker, some lower pressure over towards the eastern side of Europe, perhaps. How's the 500 millibar heights looking? So, uh, again, they're showing above average heights up here. Uh, and some higher pressure down towards there as well. Temperature anomaly, just generally reverting back close to So, I think there's a cool down that's going on here through the, uh, uh, through the first half of uh, November. We're reverting from those above average temperatures at the end of October to no signal. So, uh, a bit of a cool down is uh, taking place there, I think. And uh, precipitation-wise, looks very wet over on the eastern side of Europe, um, including the Greek islands as well. So we do get some wet weather going down there. Uh, so it could be a little bit on the unsettled side across more northern parts of Europe as well. Driest weather is up here and also down there. Signals are getting weaker. Right, that's your first day. Look, okay, done. But let's go for weeks five and six data before we go. So week five. I mean, still pressure on in 13th, 20th of November looks like this. So, uh, some lower pressure through these eastern parts of uh, Europe again, perhaps. 500 millibar heights look like that. Bit inconclusive. Temperature lines begin to get a little bit milder, perhaps, in the north and west of Europe, but otherwise, uh, no signal and precipitation. Very weak signal, wettest in the east and the south of Europe down here. But could also be a little bit on the unsettled side in the north and the west too. And then week 6 will be the 20th to the 27th of November. Low pressure then in the North Atlantic. That will bring the wind in from off the Atlantic on a westerly type flow probably. 
500 millibar height showing low pressure in the North Atlantic. So that reverts back to um, unsettled, wet, and windy, but probably quite mild weather into West Europe. Most parts of Europe have a warm up going on there in the last full week of November. And also looking quite wet, especially towards the UK, Ireland, parts of France, and also Scandinavia as well. Right, OK, looks a very unsettled outlook, actually, doesn't it, over the next six weeks, as you expect at this time of year. And all looking uh, rather good for Gals Webby's autumn forecast, I have to say. Um, but we'll see, it's just a snapshot of what the model is showing today. Could look different when we look at it again on Saturday with the UK and Ireland focus or next Tuesday for the wider European outlook. If you've enjoyed this extended European outlook, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, Show Show Point, for doing that. And I say we're live streaming at 5 pm, birthday live stream, and we'll include 10 to 14 there in that too. So keep checking back to the channel for more. But um, for this one, that's for now. And thanks for watching.